Hey parents, yesterday I had mentioned that I plan to make a video walkthrough of our website after I make some updates and I did. I spent last night and this morning making some updates and I'm ready to share them with you. Um, I'm at our homepage. This is what it looks like from a computer. It does look different on the on the phone. There's some things about looking on the phone that I like better. Um, one thing I don't like is that you can't see all the girls because it doesn't show the whole picture. So if you're looking at this on a phone, you're only going to see the children who are in the middle. But here's some, some familiar faces. Um, I'm gonna scroll down. This is our footer that will be on the bottom of every page. On it, there is a map, so you can type in our address if you, if you need directions to see us. This envelope icon is email. It goes straight to my email address. This button is for Facebook. It takes us to the main Facebook page, not, not the parents group, but the um, main Go and Dancing Facebook page. And this takes us to the Instagram account, and this takes us to YouTube. So please like, follow, and subscribe because we um, we love to um, have. We, we're trying to have a larger social media presence. If you want to contact Catherine directly, this is her email address. So you can copy and paste this into your email. This is her phone number. So those those pieces of information go straight to Catherine. Of course, if I get anything through here that um, Catherine needs to be looped in on, I'm going to share it with her. Um, scrolling back up to the top, we always have our schedule on the website. Right now we have our summer camps, summer classes, and our dance season. I do find these drop down menus easier to open on a phone. Um, so if I'm looking at the schedule, I do prefer to get on on my phone. Class descriptions gives us a small blurb on each dance style we have at Go and Dancing. This helps anybody determine if what the different styles are and which one they might want to try. They might want the child to try. This is our toddler class, Tiny Dancer. Um, and some information about what that is. I am really excited to announce that we have added a company page to our website and a competition page to our website. I intentionally chose not to make these part of class descriptions because A, I wanted them to be um, noticeable. I wanted people to come to our website and say like, oh, I got an email about company. I don't really know what that is. Maybe I should read it. I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to be lost underneath all those other genres. But I also have had a lot of things I wanted to say about company and competition. So I needed the, I needed the space. But it's my hope by putting this on the website, people can access them whenever they, they want more information about company and competition. Um, some parents may be thinking about company or competition over several weeks, maybe even several months, and they might want to reread things as they're making a determination. So anytime a parent wants to reread um, the information about these two, they can just come to our website and find them. So company performs at festivals throughout the year. Um, the farthest we've ever gone is Carowinds, so I have information in here about that, about what the prerequisites are to qualify for company, um, the monthly cost of the class, but then there also are some other expenses such as uniforms, gas money, a week-long camp, and then also for some performances, not many, but for some performances, tickets are required, so sometimes families will have to buy tickets. To, to get into the event. But so this is here, anytime anybody wants to look at it. Oh, and I have Erica listed as the contact. Um, her email address, ericacooper.goinstancing at gmail.com is right here. She is the company and the competition um, director. So I have her contact information on both of these pages. competition team. Here's their page. I do have a couple of videos on here. Um, competition is 
a bigger time and financial commitment. Um, so there's a lot of information on here. And we also are starting our dance possibilities competition group this year. Details regarding that are a little different. So I have them both on here. Here is general information about, comp about competition, but anything that doesn't apply to dance possibilities, I have put a disclaimer. Dance uh, does not apply to dance possibilities, see below. Dance possibilities does not need to attend this, see below, that kind of thing. Um, there are competition fees and they vary based on competition, based on the, si the amount of kids in the each dance. Um, every child's competition fees are going to be different. So there's a general blurb about what a parent can expect in regards to that. Um, information about um, costumes, because um, the more competition pieces a child's in, the more costumes are required. And those costumes might cost a little bit more than the regular costume that they're going to wear for their non-competition classes. And like I said, I have Erica's contact here again. For dance possibilities, um, we move on to them next, to this group next. Um, I have myself listed as the contact because I am the teacher for that class. Um, but Catherine and I have decided that um, we're not going to apply the same prerequisites to um, dance possibility dancers as the other subgroups are going to have um, no auditions required. Um, we're not going to participate in choreography camp. And then also when the extra rehearsals do occur, um, the expectation for dance possibilities are going to be a little different. We would never expect um, the dance possibility students to um, have to stay for four hours, for instance, that kind of thing. Um, the informational meeting we had on May 8th is on our YouTube page and I've linked it here. And so that is there. And like I said before, my hope is that parents can reference these pages um, as needed. Um, and we welcome all questions. If anybody is um, still has more questions that aren't covered on these pages, I try to make them general so that they will apply to both company and competition year after year after year. The other details that are gonna come out, like dates of performances, dates of competition, um, those type of things, those are going to be um, made available to parents well in advance, but it's not gonna be through these pages. We'll use Facebook, text messaging, face-to-face um, -face communication, that sort of thing for all the specific details that come up each year. These are just overviews. Pricing is gonna look a slightly different next year. We announced this in our March newsletter. Um, we still have a discount for, for multiple family members, but um, it's not quite the same discount. Um, this table shows that one child taking multiple classes, the prices stay the same. So the first class is 45, each additional class is $5 less. If, if a child took seven classes, the next class would be $15. Um, so that is not changing. Also, if um, multiple people in the same family, whether it's parents or maybe it's a mom and two siblings, maybe it's three, three sisters, um, two brothers and a sister, if, if multiple family members are taking one class each, that price isn't changing. So the First child's class would be 45, second child would be 40, third child would be 35, and fourth child would be 25. The thing that is gonna be different is when there's multiple family members taking multiple classes. So um, starting in August, family member one, maybe, maybe it's um, the oldest sister. The oldest sister would be family member one. Um, and her classes would follow this orange column. And then the younger sister is taking two classes. So her classes would be 40 and 35 because her classes would follow this pink schedule, this pink column. And, um, and then maybe mom decides to take adult hip hop. So her, she would be family member three and that would be $35. So the third family member would follow the yellow column. 
And if there's a fourth family member, they'd follow this darker orange column. So it's a little bit harder to explain, um, it, but it's still a family discount. It's just a little bit harder to explain. So I hope that what I just said is clear and what I've typed in here is clear, but if not, please let me know. Um, we can think of different ways to explain it, different ways to word it. Um, um, so we want to hear if anything's unclear. Our specialty classes are co company solos, duets, and trios that are planned. So like if, um, if three girls want to do a class together, their class would be $45. If it happens to be a class that only three people sign up for, that's different. But um, um, so those prices are there. Um, I do, I added a little bit about the fact that um, costumes will have to be purchased for the recital. All dances are in the recital. I had a couple parents ask me if last year if Tumble performed in the recital and they do. Um, and Tiny Dancer will perform in the recital as well. All of our dance classes participate in the recital. We've had a few people ask to opt out of recitals over the years, so you can come see us if that's something you would like. Um, prospective families can come on here and schedule a trial. Like I showed you yesterday, there's the parent portal. We have an online store that opens and closes throughout the year. Right now it's closed, but we will let you know when it's open and then you can click here to order t-shirts and that sort of thing. And then the sign up today button takes you to the annual registration packet. This gets emailed straight to me. Um, so the liability forms, um, birthdays, classroom requests, all that can be completed through here. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that the logo is a home button. So um, if you're ever wondering how to get back to the home screen, just click the logo and it will take you back. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope those that are considering company and competition teams um, find having this written on the website is especially helpful in making their determination. Um, please let me know if anything seems unclear. We're constantly trying to improve our communication. I, I believe wholeheartedly that when you know better, you do better. So please let me know if there's anything more I can do for you. And I hope you all have a good day. Thanks. Bye.